Hey guys, Jared again. This is um, the last of a three-part video series on the different tripod adapters that I've been using for uh, binoculars. The last one that I'm going to get into is the Vortex Una adapter. And this one, if you're looking for going lightweight, this is a pretty good setup. The um, way this one works is you've got you, you've got your base plate that you're going to put into your uh, in your tripod head and this guy threads in one thing you want to do too is you see there's some grooves it's going to mate up with a uh, couple notches that stick out from there and make sure that guy's square so when you put it in your um, you're not having to do any torquing um, take this one pop that into your uh, tripod now this one's going to thread in the front, just like some of these other ones that I did. One thing that's pretty nifty about this one, and now I will say that uh, this one comes with an Allen key to tighten it down. So this one, you could get it and torque it. There's a little, there's a lock, um, a little lock washer that sits in the front of this screw. So once you torque it down, it's not going anywhere. Now. What's pretty nifty about this one is um, you could have, you know, like what I've done in the past is I've kept this base this uh, on, and I've been able to stuff it into my um, my bino harness off to the side. So that way, um, when it, whenever I get to the spot I'm ready to glass, I pop this in. What's pretty cool is this one just snaps in, and you're ready to glass. So. Um, it works pretty well. One thing I will say is, since this one doesn't have a mechanism that allows it to completely enclose, you need to be careful because if you do end up hitting or bumping your tripod, your binos will go and take a tumble. I did that one time and luckily it didn't mess up my binos, but just something to be cognizant of. So as you're um, you know, if you're setting up on the, you know, like on a cliff face or something like that, or you're on the edge, just something to think about. Um, like I said, another good, pretty good one, especially if you're wanting to go lightweight, um, easy to set up. And like I said, you can leave this on, it'll fit down and you can still wear it. I've worn it with an elastic bino harness and also my Everly stock nose gunner, and it still fits in with no problem. Um, I'm going to put this one up on the website too. If you go to Midwest Mountain Hunter shop, um, you should be able to, under the optics section, you should be able to find this one on there. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you reach out to me at Midwest Mountain Hunter at gmail.com or Jared at MidwestMountainHunter.com. Thanks, guys, and uh, good luck on your hunts.